Those four look like they're battling out for two spots. It's been one of the hardest Premier Leagues. I don't want to feel the pain that I felt last year. There is going to be a lot on the line. As long as I'm in the MO2 playoff, that really is what counts. Look at that! Ultimately, what a win it. Come on! What a way to win it! Oh, my God. This has been a great Premier League season so far. 17 different locations. We have eight of the very best battling it out for darting supremacy. This is Michael Smith's moment. And here's night one, Victor. Start of the new season, start of the Premier League. Well, where to kick it off? Mighty Michael Van Gogh Brilliance in Berlin. It's going to be a long, tough, tough journey, but I'm up there. He's found a way to win again. Oh, Michael Van Gogh! Michael Van Gogh completes the hat trick. I won in Glasgow, I won in Berlin. I'm getting close to my best odds. And Nathan Aspinall is the chief in Exeter. Getty. Luke Humphreys is the champion in Brighton. The world champ, the world number one, back to back, nightly wins. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> he wins and he wins and he wins. Luke the Nuke has his first nightly win in the Premier League. If I performed, then I could potentially win most games in most weeks. The kid that can do no wrong wins again. Double eight to cap off a fine display. Yes. And Michael Van Gurin gets over the line. That's the double eight, and that is the nightly win for Nathan Aspinall. All well, best to you, boy. Have a great day. This victory steals Luke Littler's spot at the O2 for finals night. In my debut year, I did not expect to be top. The league table's been kind of in flux all the way through this. It feels like the most tightly contested Premier League. Granted, Peter Wright is, is mathematically gone coming into Aberdeen night 14. And Gerwin Price, with him not being here tonight, pulling out with a bad back, that means that his chances of reaching the top four are dead. They are dead in the water. However, even Rob Cross could launch himself back into contention if he has a big night. Then you've got Aspinall, you've got Van Gerwen clinging on to a top four spot. Michael Smith, four points behind, and then that drop to Rob Cross. Those four look like they're battling out for two spots, and that makes tonight massive. There is going to be a lot on the line. Yeah, I like that. That's good. So what are we going to have next, uh, next week? How's it going to go? Well, next week we've got this. Well, John's talking. Yeah. As soon as he announces your name, it'll be straight into that. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Yeah, yeah that's All perfect. Right. Quick. It's actually a nice venue, this one, isn't it? Do you reckon this is the biggest one? Surely. Yeah, it's garbage, isn't it? It's about Michael Smith, this match, and should he be 80% of himself, I think he'll handle it. And Michael Smith, who was strolling towards the win, He's now struggling, or is he? Is he double 13? What a way to win it! Michael Smith with a massive two points in Aberdeen. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have even gone that far. Well, this could end up a horrific night for Nathan Aspinall. Could this change the game? 16 tops. Look at that. Who's that right? He's so good at the pressure. This is on. This is it's off now. Littler has held on and the league leader wins again. Well and Luke Littler in sensational style has routed Michael Smith. Rob Cross beats the world champ, world number one. One of them. Luke Littler is the ace in Aberdeen to be the league leader going into the playoffs at the 0-2. I'm just happy to get another nightly win. Happy that my name's got a queue next to it and going to the 0-2. So within the next two weeks, I'll just relax myself and not put too much pressure on myself. Need to 
is a massive part of my life. So I love coming to Ellen Road to watch the team. We've got loads of the staff from Leeds coming to watch me tomorrow. A few players as well obviously come in, which is amazing. Right, what do you want to do? Hold this and... Yes, please, yes. Not as heavy as the world. I could carry this round. Can I drop this down? Try not, try not to um, buy the blast on me. Yeah, on, yeah, only because around. he's lasted 20 years and never broken yet. What, 20 years the same for anything? Yeah. I was going to be called Liam, and then my dad sees someone named their son after Leeds United Kings Europe, which is Luke. He was Adam, and that was going to be my name, so I would have been called Liam, but no better way to be named after your club. For me, uh, there isn't that pressure on your shoulders to qualify, but I still want to go and win the next two weeks. Finishing on as many points as I physically can, you know, I want to be on 38 points by the time I, you know, the, the playoffs come, but as much as the pressure is not on me, I still want to go out and win. Yeah, that's all right. All right, yeah. Okay, we'll just balance it to the right. I said before the tournament started, you know, I don't care if I finish first, second, third or fourth, you know, as long as I'm in their O2 playoff, that really is what, what counts and uh, if you peak on 9-17, that's the, that's the most important thing because then you can walk away as, as the champion. My shirt supplier is a Leeds fan and, you know, I let him have a little, you know, tinker around on something a bit retro. I wanted to, you know, have a vibe of, of Leeds and, and be a dark shirt as well and uh, Yorkshire badge on it as well, which is, uh, you know, a nice touch for the fans to see. I felt like it's been such a long wait for Leeds. Do you want a picture of me? <laughs> Do you not? Obviously, you know, it's going to be the one from the calendar I look at and think that's the one I can't wait to play. New walk-on song and the crowd reception. Once I get that, and you know, I'll be fully focused on winning because I want to come out again and have that crowd reaction and I want it a third time. So, you know, my goal is, is making the final minimum so I give the crowd as, as much uh, you know, enjoyment with my walk-on song as possible. But obviously, to win to be right up there with my dark achievements, especially the way it'd feel for me. It is make or break time for some of these players here tonight. The two Lukes are battling out for top spot, but they're there. They've obviously got that issue sorted for the other three players, the two Michaels and Nathan. There's work still to be done. Thank you. Thank you. All these players penciling their nights, and Luke Humphreys has waited a while for this one now. I hope he enjoys the night. Well, come on, kiddo. Uh, there he is. There he is. All good. Special shirt. Yeah. Didn't have an eye on you're wearing it. Well, I'll pack it. What is that? You're going out to your Leeds fans like that. Yeah. Get them an iron. It's a retro shirt. Get the crinkle look. <laughs> just walked in the room, isn't it? Just blah, 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 blah. blah. Yeah, I feel you know super confident. I've obviously been really looking forward to this moment for a long time. Lots of people asking what's the walk-on song going to be. I think they're desperate to know, but uh, everyone's going to find out tonight. I thought you stand over here. No? Do you stand in the middle? You just you just go to the ball and just go yeah, wherever. What a fantastic night this will be in one of the best arenas that we visit in the Premier League. Michael Van Gerwen, huge, huge win for the Dutchman. A giant leap towards the O2 and finals night. Come on. Luke Humphreys, wow, is he going to enjoy this here tonight. Kind of his homecoming, isn't it? The world champ, world number one, orchestrating the crowd. It'll make him feel good. Well, he come on to our predictor right. I didn't predict a route, but that's exactly what it was. Best beat ever. All right, that was something with the world. Oh, that was unbelievable. That was incredible. My heart was absolutely going ballistic. That is a big, big win for the Bully Boy. And he's breathing down the ass neck now. Is that a bit about him tonight, Michael? Last minute. Yeah. And he's in the final. Michael Van Gerwen demolishes the league leader, Luke Littler. All about Luke Humphreys and his love of Leeds. Humphreys has been outstanding tonight, and it should be some final. The world number one and world champ, he has been magnificent. And the Leeds United nut wins in Leeds. He beats Michael Van Gerwen. I think there was pressure on him tonight. There was the shirt change, song change, Leeds and all that, and he performed. So I think he'll be feeling great about himself and hopefully he carries it on to next week and then they all peak for the finals at the O2. If they all peak, we are in for some special night. Probably put a lot of pressure on myself to be honest, but uh, yeah, I'm really, really pleased. I'm, I'm the winner and 
you know, I worked really hard tonight to get the results I did. I'm really, really pleased with my performance. We're at the Sheffield Children's Hospital and hopefully I can surprise a few kids today. The younger kids, they just go mad about myself, so like I said, I just can't wait to surprise a few kids today. We're a really busy place for a start, so you, you get everyone coming through this place. I think when you have the stardust, if you like, of a famous celebrity or someone who's really current coming through, it really perks everyone up. It makes the kids feel really special, makes them feel really loved and it makes the staff feel like they're really invested in and, and the people care about the work that they do. No worries, no worries. Do you know much about clinical research? Not really. No, so, so it's kind of embedded into clinical care, but it's just the opportunity to perhaps try different drugs or different devices. Hiya, yeah. are you okay? Yeah. yeah. And this is Heidi. And this is Heidi. You okay? Luke. Yeah. Good. How many years have you been coming? Six. Six years she's been coming. What do you do? Do you just... You just touch it and try to score there. Yeah. She already scored. Oh, <laughs> so what do you do? Do you just do that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's for you. Oh, this is your nickname. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right now, Luke. <laughs> Thank you very much. So anything to do with your head, we deal with all of it. You have got a visitor, man. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. You okay? Not too bad. Please have a rough few weeks, haven't you? Everyone's been fantastic on here. I didn't even expect it myself. It's like me now. <laughs> the kids are why we're here. This is why we do what we do. And having someone like Luke come and give that little bit of time, with real maturity, I've got to say, it's absolutely brilliant and the staff love it. What I have seen today, they've really enjoyed seeing me and I've enjoyed seeing them and knowing their story. There were two guys making their debut in the Premier League and they're going to finish one and two in the table. In terms of the big shootout game between Michael Smith and Nathan Aspinall, Aspinall could have got the job done last week. He lost to Michael Smith. You could see how gutted he was, but he has another chance now. It's just one game. If he can beat Michael Smith, he's in the playoffs again. But we know Michael Smith, good sometimes isn't enough. I think we've got a heck of a game. It has been tough, but I've enjoyed every minute of it. You know, I won't change it for the world. It's been probably one of the hardest Premier Leagues in I don't know, God knows how long. I said from day one, if I make the top four, that has been a very successful year. So I'll give myself that opportunity after 15 weeks of, I've got a straight knockout now and I can get myself to London for the playoffs for two years running. I don't want to feel the pain that I felt last year. I don't want to finish fifth. I want to get in that top four. Ultimately, I want to win it. It's a do or die. Once I'm on that walk on, it's, that's when it starts. I know what it takes to beat Michael Smith and fingers crossed to do the job. This is the battle that perhaps matters most in the league phase. A place at the 0-2, a chance of glory. Double eight. Oh, that's beautiful. Sumptuous stuff from the bully boy. Double 12. He's going to the 0-2. And it's heartbreak for the second year running for Nathan Aspinall. I do feel sorry for him. I want him there as well as me, and it was hard then. That was really hard. Luke Littler, now a bona fide superstar. What a debut it's been in the Premier League. It's not. It's not. Oh, my word! What a talent! What a performance. Yet another win. But just one player who has got under the skin of Luke Littler. Michael Smith, when he gets it right, boy, he gets it right. He's done for Luke Littler again from 4-1 down. Well, I kept thinking then, go beat 6-0 and go up. Get <laughs> next week. The Premier League of Darts League phase. This is the last game. What a night for Michael Smith. He started with a win in Cardiff, he's finished with a win in Sheffield and he takes his place in next week's playoffs. 
I'm over the moon just to get that second night win and going into next week now, I do feel confident. It's one night, you got to bring your best game. If you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. And hopefully I don't lose, but hopefully I can bring, I can bring some good form into next week. Never known so much excitement. The people who don't watch darts have asked me about it. I've got four of the very best. And it'd be a great story if any of the four would win and they're all so determined. It's gone pretty well going to the top and finishing on top. It was always a massive bonus. First three weeks, it win, one up and a semis. Kind of just disappeared for six, seven weeks. I went to work, come back, got my game where you should be. My goal was to win two or three nights out of the 16, to go on and win four, I exceeded them expectations again. I had a lot of ups and a lot of downs, I think more downs than ups. Of course you want to be top of the table, but this year my game wasn't good enough, simple as that. Semi-finals I think is a good alternative. I haven't played my best starts, probably because I don't really have to, I've already qualified. Everyone's playing the 16 weeks to get to the O2, so now that you're here, it's about bringing your best game now. Tomorrow against Smithy, I'll definitely play my best starts. I know you top the group, but we all thought, because of the schedule, maybe you might not get to grips with it as quick, but no, what fair play to the kid, he's handled everything perfect. He's been one of the greatest additions I think we've had in the Premier League. Can't wait, just glad that I'm part of it all. These are moments that you should be relishing as a dart player. These don't come around every week. The more where it's a different day, different kind of pressure, playing in front of such a big and nice crowd in this iconic venue, you always want to perform well. As long as I keep my composure and allow myself to, to be the best version of me, I'll stand every chance of going on to, to lift the title. It will mean a lot to me, especially after such a few struggly months. Regardless of what happens, I'm going to enjoy the moment, enjoy the experience, and really go out there and give it my all. I'm looking to get something that I really want, and which is the Premier League title. I mean the world, obviously my first major win. I can't wait to just get on stage and play in front of a packed out audience. It has been all about the road to the O2 Arena. Just four players remain, and what a four we're left with. It is a fitting finale. Strap yourselves in for a classic here in the capital. Tonight is it. The qualification is the league phase. This is the night you need to win. When you look at high-end darts, they're all first dart merchants. It's going to be full of drama. I was sat just behind the barriers after I won the world. They're going to hit bucket loads of 140s, 180s. But like every single game of darts, it's going to come down to the hell to ring. See you later. Michael Smith aiming for a second Premier League final. Luke Littler aiming to become only the sixth man to win the title his first attempt. Oh, now double 12, yes. sensational scenes, early doors, as Luke the Nuke explodes early. And Michael Smith just about still afloat in this semi-final in the Premier League. It's been all Luke Littler in the first half of this match. It's Luke the Nuke Littler is one match away from becoming the Premier League champion for 2024. He swept Michael Smith aside. Littler was on fire. Michael Van Gerwen has made this stage his own. For Luke Humphreys, a chance to write more history as he chases a fifth major title. Michael's turn to try and grab the early break. And he does grab the early break. And Luke Humphreys something to ponder early here in this semi-final. Oh, look at this from Luke Humphreys to respond, and he does respond. This would hurt Van Gerwen. Brilliant from Humphreys. He's in total control of this semi-final. And then it is, Humphreys finds a break again, and he's on the brink of the final. Thrones the Premier League champ with a stunning display. Luke Humphreys dismisses Michael Van Gerwen by ten legs to five. Yeah, both semi finals were similar, weren't they? Luke Littler got out the blocks, dominated against Michael Smith, and just kept him at arm's length. It was a professional display. Humphreys did the same to Van Gerwen. It was a little bit more explosive from Humphreys, though. There was that 1 3 2 and that 1 2 5 finish, but both deserved winners. Same scoreline, and it tees up this final perfectly. Top of the table, Luke Littler takes on the man that finishes second, Luke Humphreys. Two debutants. What a leg of darts. Double 18.
What a shot. Oh, none. This is amazing. Come on. Can he? Can he? Yes! You beauty! Luke Littler has hit a nine-dart finish in the final of the Premier League of Darts. Tops. He has done it. Luke Littler, the 17-year-old phenom, is the Premier League champion. I'm just happy to win. After the break, I come on and I just, just said to myself, this is it, we're on till the end. And he had a spark, three, four good legs, and then I, I rallied it off. One thing I just want to say for all the doubters, hello? I've just picked up this. You're not doubting me anymore. It was a final that was kind of fitting of the last 17 weeks, because it feels like it's been maybe a little bit biased, but the best Premier League season we have ever had with the sold out arenas. We saw it here tonight at the O2, 14,000 fans, a record, a sell out crowd here. Darts is in an unreal place. It's just gone bang. We call it the Luke Littler effect, but it's not slowing down at all. It all comes down to one night in the nation's capital. What an amazing atmosphere in here. These players relish for these type of opportunities. And Luke Littler demolishes Michael Smith. Luke the Luke Littler is one match away. Michael Van Gerwen is up against the strongest player that's out there at the moment. He's going to stay there. And he does respond. It's as if the script is being written. And it seems they're destined to meet. Top of the table, Luke Littler takes off Luke Humphries. Two debutants. He's in complete control of the match. Oh, my. Can he? that this kid cannot do. It is 17-year-old Luke Littler who is the premier player on Planet Dart. I've just picked up this! You're not doubting me!